Your Graces and all conference participants. I am Father Wilfred Atin from the parish of St. Michael in the district of Pinampang under the Archdiocese of Kota Kinabalu, Sabah, Malaysia. These are members of my committee. As a representative for our country, Malaysia, we feel honored and privileged to share with you our Paris life, Paris activities, the issues and challenges we face, and how we tackle and address these issues. The parish of St. Michael Penampang is located in Malaysia. The population of Malaysia is about 33 million, predominantly of the Islamic faith at about 62%, with Christianity at around 10%. We are in the Malaysian multi-ethnic state of Sabah, which has a population of approximately 4 million. The parish is within the Archdiocese of Kota Kinabalu. The number of inhabitants in the Archdiocese is about 2 million, of which about 230,000 are Catholics. With a Catholic population of about 17,000, the parish has 17 churches and chapels, a number of which are in areas that are difficult to access due to the hilly terrain and poor road condition. The center of the parish is the St. Michael Church, the oldest stone church in the Archdiocese. Constructed with granite stone, it was completed just after World War II. The Pinampang Parish community predominantly speaks the Kadazan language. However, in order to cater for visitors and locals who do not speak the Kadazan language, masses are conducted in three languages, which are Kadazan, Malay, and English. There are five priests to celebrate Mass and assisted by a number of catechists to conduct the liturgical service in the 17 churches and chapels in the parish of Pinampang. Apart from the daily morning Mass, a total of 16 Masses are celebrated weekly on Sundays. Before the celebration of Mass, parishioners can purchase religious items which are being sold outside the church. Parishioners also have the opportunity to perform the Sacrament of Reconciliation. The Novena and Rosary are recited before Mass begins. This shows a Mass organized by the Mission Kindergarten School children during the Feast of St. Michael. After Mass, the normal practice of the priest is to bless the religious items of parishioners and informally meet and greet the parishioners as they exit the church. Some parishioners would also converge at the parish cafe for fellowship. Among the many devotional practices at the parish is the holy hour which is usually conducted at night on a weekday. The adoration of the Blessed Sacrament is also held at every sunset mass after the novena. Pinampang Parish has also conducted various spiritual activities which involve the parishioners, such as the Marian Procession. The passing of the family cross from one zone to another in conjunction with the parish family day and the Corpus Christi procession.
as seen in the processions. The gong is beaten together with the ringing of the church bells, which shows the integration of the custom and the Catholic faith of the parishioners. Apart from that, there are many other parish activities organized by the various committees in the parish. The Pinampang Parish has also conducted many pastoral activities in the communities in remote areas. There are several issues and challenges that are faced by the parish. The first major challenge of the parish is the alarming shortage of priests. As previously mentioned, there are only five priests serving in the parish, which is insufficient to provide effective pastoral care to the 17,000 Catholics in the 17 churches and chapels under the parish. The next Parish challenge is the obsessive use of gadgets among young people, which unfortunately has become a norm in our community today. Other than that, due to the poor infrastructure in rural areas, it becomes a challenge for our priests and catechists to effectively provide pastoral care to the rural community regularly. Another challenge that needs to be highlighted is the lack of infrastructure for the mission kindergarten. Classrooms and other facilities are insufficient and not conducive to learning. Mission kindergartens can only cater for a small number of Catholic children, resulting in the majority not receiving any faith formation. Lastly, 
The major challenge we face is the frequent flooding in the district of Pinampang. The significant effect of the flood is the inability of parishioners to attend mass and other church activities. In order to tackle the challenges experienced by the parish, a number of qualified parishioners were trained to become catechists to help provide liturgical services in the absence of the priest, especially in remote areas. Apart from that, to mitigate the issue of obsessive use of gadgets, the parish organizes various activities to encourage the youths to participate. Another initiative to address the issue of poor infrastructure in rural areas was the donation of boats to upgrade the mode of water transportation to remote areas. As for the lack of infrastructure for the mission kindergarten, currently the parish hall is under renovation as a temporary measure to accommodate the kindergarten pupils. It has been an honor to have presented this short video to your graces and all conference participants. The parish of St. Michael's Milampang would like to take this opportunity to congratulate the Federation of Asian Bishops Conference on its 50th anniversary. We wish you a fruitful conference that would help to reaffirm, renew and revitalize the churches in Asia. Tapi dah kau ngawe. Patok.